343 has just brought on two ex-Bungie employees who worked during the heyday. How does this affect the multiplayer and the campaign? Well, stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you another news and informational video when it comes to Halo. If you like these news and informational videos, please make sure to tap that like button as it lets me know you want to see some more content like this. If you want to stay up to date with all the happenings in Halo Infinite, make sure you tap subscribe guys. So let's get right into the content here. So yes, the title is 100% accurate. Former Bungie employee multiplayer lead Max Hoberin's company Certain Affinity is working on Halo Infinite. In fact, they've been working on Halo Infinite's multiplayer since December of 2019. In a recent announcement, Certain Affinity posted this. Today, we are proud to reveal Certain Affinity's partnership with 343 Industries on Halo Infinite. Our team has been working closely with 343 since December of last year, continuing a long history of collaboration between the two studios working multiple Halo titles dating back to 2006. The name sounds familiar, you're probably right, because Certain Affinity has been working on multiple Halo titles since 2006, most notably with Halo 4 and Halo 2 Anniversary. But they have a long history of other games as well, with the most recent notable titles being Doom and Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered. That's also some awesome titles, and I'm really glad to see that Certain Infinity is coming back with Halo Infinite to continue on their legacy of making some pretty awesome content. Max Hoberman, who is the founder and president of Certain Infinity, who was the previous multiplayer lead for, at Bungie, quoted saying this, Halo Infinite has huge long-term ambitions while also giving a respectful nod to the franchise's past. This is an exciting combination given our own deep roots and long time connections to the series we couldn't be more excited to help 343 realize this vision for max hoberman now certain affinity does have a long history with halo dating all the way back to 2007's release of the blastacular map pack that brought in desolation and Tombstone to Halo 2. Also taking a part of the Combat Evolved Anniversary remake for the multiplayer maps for Halo Reach's Combat Evolved playlist, which I would say those remakes of those classic CE maps are quite fantastic. So um, this is kind of stuff, the content you can kind of expect to have be brought into Halo Infinite when it comes to their development style. Their first huge project though was teaming up with 343 to create the maps and some of the modes in Halo 4. I know Halo 4 probably is a bit worrisome when you hear that being brought in as a good thing, but they brought they made fan favorite modes like Dominion. That was a certain affinity that made that mode. And also the 10 PvP maps as well as along with uh, eight maps for the Majestic, Castle, and Bullseye map packs as well. And their most recent Halo work with the Master Chief Collection, most notably the Halo 2 Anniversary maps and modes uh, brought into that using the Halo 4 engine. They're also the team that updated the Forge in Halo 2 Anniversary, which the Forge progress that they made for Halo 2 Anniversary was quite fantastic as well. So given their prior experience with Halo and their good job of creating good modes and maps as well, I think that Halo Infinite is in good hands when it comes to the multiplayer side of things. Now this also might kind of play into the worries and rumors that have been plaguing uh, 343 and Halo Infinite's development, talking about how they've hired a lot of contractors, a lot of kind of cooks in the kitchen if you will when it comes to designing and developing Halo Infinite and there's a lot of words that saying that there's too many people in the way of things but I think when you have certain affinity who has had a long track record with 343 and Bungie as well when it comes to creating great Halo content uh, I think this is just a great partnership I'm really glad to see this is happening it really kind of helps rest my concerns when it comes to the development of Halo Infinite as well knowing that a long-term partner who has helped made good maps and modes that this multiplayer should be pretty dang good. I still see on Twitter today about people saying they want to play Dominion in Halo 4 when it comes to the MCC and I can totally understand that. They want to have it like its own separate mode to play because it's such a fan favorite. It was probably the most played mode in Halo 4 as well. And I think that's saying something because Halo 4's multiplayer wasn't really well received and the fact that a lot of people want this mode coming back in the next Halo title tells you how good 
the mode actually is. And with Halo Infinite's multiplayer set to be free to play as well, this could be one of the biggest multiplayer experiences we've ever had with the Halo franchise. And like how I mentioned there are Bungie leads returning to work on Halo. That's right, the second ex-Bungie employee that we have working on Halo Infinite now is Joseph Staten. If you guys do not know who Joseph Staten is, he's the Senior Creative Director for Xbox Game Studios. Essentially his role right now is just to kind of go over various stories that Microsoft is putting out to make sure that yeah, that works out, that makes sense. He just finished up working on Tell Me Why, which is the game that just recently released, and now that he's a available 343 snagged them up to add them onto the team as well for a great creative direction when it comes to the story of Halo Infinite. If you want to know what Halo stories he's worked on, we have Halo 3, Halo 3 ODST, Reach, and Halo Wars. So Joseph Staten being part of one of the best storytelling games in the franchise, joining along with Halo Infinite, that is an absolutely massive addition to the franchise as well. But what kind of role is Joseph Staten going to have? Don't they have the story pretty much already written? Yes, they have for the most part, but what the Joseph Staten is going to be is a project lead. And from what they state here in the community update on 343's website, they say as a project lead on Halo Infinite, however, Joseph will be focused on supporting the campaign's team, existing talented creative leaders and ensuring they have everything they need to create an awesome Halo game. So to me, when I hear this, it sounds like he's kind of coming in as a consulting role as Joseph Staten, one of the guys who essentially helped create the Halo universe as a whole. Uh, you can definitely know that he will have some personal motivations when it comes to making sure that this story turns out very well. And pretty much everything that Joseph Staten has worked on besides Destiny, but I believe there's some creative uh, hands a little bit too much in the kitchen right there, especially with Activision in the way. But the lore of Destiny is amazing. The stories that were told that he was a part of as days at Bungie for Halo are amazing. Some of the best in the series, especially with ODST. People love that campaign. He's also written a recent book of Shadow of Intent as well. So hearing Joseph Staten come back to 343 to work on Halo is a big sigh of relief for me. Let's me know that some good hands are involved with the creation of this. As we do know, Halo 5's campaign left a lot to be desired. But let me know in the comment section down below, what are your guys' thoughts on bringing in certain Infinity into the development of Halo Infinite? Does that get you excited? Does it kind of rest your concerns or does it create more concerns? Let me know in the comment section down below so I do read all the comments and try to reply to most of them as well. If you're new to the channel or missing any content from me, check out the videos on the screen right now if you've been out of the loop for the last few days or so. Thank you so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out.